Y'all gonna learn to keep your hands to yourself. Let's watch this, especially if you're a security officer. I'll be back. Let's get right to Tia Ewing. She just spoke with that teen's family. Tia? Well, I actually spoke with a teen and her mother, Scott and Dawn. What I can tell you is that we actually have four different cell phone videos from exactly one unfolded in the bleachers during the game. The 15-year-old told me that she actually exchanged words with that male security guard, and from there, she says punches were thrown repeatedly. Now, I got a chance to get a statement from District 205. They're telling a much different story of what happened, but it really doesn't matter in this case because as of right now, we know that security guard has been fired. Oh! It's video that we had to blur. It's gruesome. An adult male security guard punching and pulling 15-year-old student Toshia Statham down the bleachers at Thorn Ridge High School during a basketball game. The 15-year-old told me it all started over her hoodie. One security guard told her to take it off. She did, but then was told to get out. I'm like, what do I got to leave for? So that's when they all came up the they all came up to the top of the bleachers. So once they did that, he was all in my face screaming. Like he was just like saying all kind of stuff. The school sent us a statement with a different account of what happened on December 1st. A student who was attending a basketball game at Thorn Ridge High School in Dalton allegedly spat in the face of a security guard when he attempted to escort her from the gymnasium. What is your response to that? That's definitely not true. There's no video to show if that happened or not. The 15-year-old had to go to the hospital. Her mother, Tosha, says she had several CAT scans, and luckily, nothing major is wrong. The high school student showed me some of her other injuries, where she says the guard ripped three braids from the roots, leaving a bald spot. It was like right here. Thornton Township High School District 205 sent me a statement, and here's some of it. In response to this unacceptable behavior, the security guard reacted inappropriately, deviating from his training. The safety and well-being of students is our utmost priority, and any actions that compromise their welfare will not be tolerated. Prudential Security has taken swift action by dismissing the security guard from his position effective immediately. The freshman's mother says that punishment isn't enough. That's not safe. I want him arrested. That's what I want. As for Statham, the student in all of this, she has been suspended for 10 days. Her mother told me that she did file a police report with Dalton Police, and she's hoping that charges will be filed. Now, we did reach out to Dalton PD to find out any more details, and so far, we haven't heard back. Live in South Holland tonight, Tia Ewing, Fox 32 Chicago. Hey. If you took my unarmed security class, what did I say your primary duties were, right? To observe an offense and report it, not to put your hands on people, right? Didn't I tell y'all that? What did they say in that statement? He deviated from his what? What was that again? Oh, that's right, his training. Mm, his training. Those of y'all who follow me, didn't I tell y'all that's what they gonna always fall back on? That job description and that training, keep your hands off these kids. Keep your hands off these people. You are not the police. You are not 12, you six. I'm telling you, where you get trained matters. Where you get trained matters. Those companies that will entice you to put, and I'm not saying Prudential is that company, right? But be very careful of those companies who will okay you putting your hands on people because when they done with you and when they have to save themselves the company will always back themselves first this instructor mike and you've been trained i've been telling y'all i've been telling y'all